Good morning children and welcome to worship today. We are going to start our worship like we always do by lighting our candle and saying the greeting. So I'm going to light our candle first. Carefully put it back. There we go. And I'm going to say our greeting. Are you ready? The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Now, I want to ask you a question as we start our worship today, which is, do you like superheroes? Have you seen any superhero films? I wonder who your favourite superhero is. I've got some pictures of some superheroes here. I wonder how many of these you can, um, you can guess. So, can you see Superman on this picture? Can you see Wonder Woman? Or Batman? Or who else is on there? Uh, Joker, Green Lantern, Flash. There's some great superheroes on there. I wonder if you've got your favourites on there. Well, these ones are all Marvel ones. So, what about these superhero ones so we've got captain america we've got iron man we've got um hulk thor i wonder who you like the best i wonder why you like the superheroes what are the best qualities in a superhero well i I quite like superheroes. I like some of them um, because they're super good. I like Flash because he can run really fast. Um, but my favourite superheroes by far are The Incredibles. Have you seen The Incredibles? They are amazing. I think actually, do you think we should watch a little bit? Well, I'm going to show you a clip. Okay, so this clip is from The Incredibles 2 um, and it's just the trailer. But I, as you watch it, I want you to think about why are they superheroes um, and what makes them so super. Okay, here's the clip. Did you wash your hands? With soap? Did you dry them? Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. So, are we going to talk about it? What? The elephant in the room. What elephant? Mom's new job. It's time to make some wrong things right. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight change people's perceptions about superheroes. And Elastigirl is our best plan. Better than me? <clears throat> Whoa! I like Mom's new job! Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids, no problem. It's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. I this don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? He's in excellent health. Whoa, what the? Nom nom cooking. Oh, my God. Cooking. Whoa, gay. That is freaky. You know what's crazy, right? To help my family, I gotta leave it. To fix the law, I gotta break it. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. Thank you, young man. Combustion imminent? What does that mean? It means fire, Robert. Green Slayer interrupts this program for an important announcement. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. 
I love The Incredibles. How cool was that? Just a little clip just makes me feel so happy. Did you see what their superpowers were? They're great superpowers, aren't they? But um, did they use their superpowers for good or for evil? What do you think? Yeah, they used their superpowers for good, didn't they? But you know, the townspeople, they got a bit sad, haven't they? And uh, they were a little bit discouraged because um, they, they weren't really liking the superheroes anymore. Why do you think that was? Why do you think they didn't like the superheroes anymore? Well, you know, what happened was when the superheroes were using their superpowers, it, to try and stop all of those evil plans sometimes uh, things went a little bit wrong didn't they and there was a little bit of damage in the wake of them stopping a bigger evil plan and so they just the townspeople had got a little bit sad but you know by the end of the film um, good always wins doesn't it I want to think about superpowers this week. Do you remember back to last week and we were talking about being plugged in and being connected to God? I want to tell you a story now about how that being plugged in and connected to, to God can give people superpowers. And I want to tell you about a really special day in the life of the church but I'm going to read to you from the Bible first and then tell you about it. So this is called the Holy Spirit comes. Thousands of people went to Jerusalem to celebrate a Jewish holiday called Pentecost. They came from many countries and spoke many different languages. Jesus's disciples were staying there and they were praying together. Suddenly, a noise filled the room where they were. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. The Holy Spirit appeared as if tongues of fire were resting on each of the disciples. Can you see that picture? They all started talking in different languages that the disciples didn't even know. The people in Jerusalem heard the noise and they came to see what was happening. The crowd were amazed and asked, how are you able to speak our languages? Peter said, the prophets told us this would happen. Then Peter told them about God's plan. God sent Jesus to save everyone from all the bad things that they had done. The people asked him, well, what should we do? So Peter replied, ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. On that day, 3000 people believed in Jesus. The disciples baptized all of them. Now yesterday in church we celebrated that. It's kind of like the birthday of the church. Peter and the disciples, they all got filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gave them superpowers to do amazing things. We well, you know after that, those disciples didn't just stop there. After those 3,000 people had become Christians, they then went on to do even more things. They went around and they healed people and they told people about Jesus and they just did some really incredible things because God had given them the superpower, the Holy Spirit, the best superpower that there could ever be. And you know, the Holy Spirit, he's there for us too. When we are connected to God, like we talked about last week, and we say, God, I'm sorry for all the stuff I've done wrong. Would you please come and live in me? Then the Holy Spirit comes 
and gives us those superpowers so we can go out and tell people about God so that we can do amazing things too, just like the disciples. We're going to have a little reflection and a prayer. So this is my little reflection. Have a little think. These are wondering questions. I wonder, did the disciples become superheroes? Hmm. What do you think? When the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost, the disciples were given the power to teach about God and to perform some miracles like the ones that Jesus had performed during his three years of teaching. Just like the Incredibles, the disciples used this God-given power to do good and help others who were in need. I wonder, if you were given the power to do good and be a superhero, what would you do? I wonder, do you think we need special powers to do good deeds? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the celebration of Pentecost. Thank you for the disciples who were able to spread the good news about Jesus. Thank you for the ways in which we can do good and help people today. When we need help and support, thank you for all the people who are there to help us. Amen. And let's say our school blessing together. God bless our school from the roof to the floor. God bless the windows and the door. God bless us all evermore. Amen. Amen. See you soon, everyone. <laughs>